Hi, my name is Emily Ziegler. I'm one of the certified nurse midwives through St. Charles, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about stretching, posture, and balance and flexibility. So I'm gonna start by talking a little bit about the importance of these and then go ahead and demonstrate a few of them for you. So every day as humans, when we're walking around, we're working against gravity. And so by the end of the day, a lot of strain is put on our musculoskeletal system and we need to stretch it out. Additionally, for young people, in order to maintain an active lifestyle, it's important to continue to stretch to keep our muscles active and get uh, prevention from getting tight. So, one of the best ways to start by thinking about your posture and your balance is through just everyday walking, talking, living. Oftentimes I find myself getting out of balance, for example, standing on one hip, slouching, being on my phone. All of these things are gonna affect the way that my posture is. So it's important and I challenge you to check in with yourself throughout the day and see how is my posture doing? So when we're thinking about posture, it's important to start by finding some balance. Balance is really the equal distribution of weight that allows us to maintain this upright position. So when you're thinking about how's your posture, you wanna start by putting your feet about square and hip width apart. Then with your hips square, your shoulders square, and your core engaged, you're gonna find a focal point. Take some big deep breaths sometimes to relax. And what you're thinking about is drawing your belly button in towards your spine. This is gonna help prevent and counterbalance this big curvature of the lower spine that some of us can get. Additionally, thinking about your upward position, you wanna think about your sternum and your clavicle, your collarbone. Think about drawing your sternum upwards and your clavicle outwards while again engaging your core, bringing that belly button in. Lastly, you're gonna think about drawing your shoulders back and again, preventing this over um, hunched position. So again, this is that upright neutral spine position that's important to maintain throughout the day for good posturing and again, for prevention of injury, especially to the spine. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about some stretches that can help stretch out the glutes and the hamstrings that can get really tight and the quadriceps that can get really tight when we sit a lot during the day. So this first one's called downward dog. So we're gonna start by getting on all fours down here on the ground. It's important to start by putting your hands about shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide and Put your pressure into the palms of your hand. Again, you're gonna put your knees also square underneath your hips into this neutral position. This, pos this pose actually pushes off from the lower hands into the bottom, and you're going to draw your spine upwards, pushing down into your heels. <laughs> so, a lot of people think that if you can't get your heels on the ground in this position, it's not effective. And that's not true. What we're really focusing on, again, is elongating the spine and drawing that upwards towards the ceiling to create space. It's always good to do some of these practice positions at home. Again, extending the amount of time that you can do each position and each hold. So that's a good one, especially again for the hamstrings, for the calves. Now we're gonna do a stretch that's really nice to help show your own range of motion. This is a squat. So with this squat, what you're gonna do again is start with your hip square, feet just slightly outwards, and you're gonna engage the core and gently come down into the squat position. Now this position actually takes quite a bit of balance and control, and you can see my heels are not completely on the ground. Again, that might indicate tight um, calf muscles. If this position is too hard, one modification that you can make is taking a small rolled up towel like this, putting it below the ankles and the heels, and again, going back into that same position, coming down. You wanna focus again on keeping your core engaged, looking forward, staying centered. Now this right now feels like a very active pose, but it's actually a restful pose for some people who tend to squat more. The more and more flexibility that you gain from the more practice that you do, the better you'll get at this pose. And the key piece here, again, is the flexibility and that full range of motion with our knee up above our hip. 
Another way that we can do this pose in a little more restful way is in one called child's pose. So you're gonna come down onto the floor. Again, knees here under the forward body. Come down onto your forward arms here and you're gonna sink your bottom down into your ankles and look forward, relaxing your shoulders back down. This is a really good stretch again to make space in the lower back and help elongate the spine and stretch out the upper shoulders. Again, you're getting that knee above the hip even in this position. One of my other favorite positions is called happy baby. This one again does the same thing. So we're gonna roll back onto our backs. If you have the flexibility, grab your feet here and gently pull your ankles forward. You can even give a gentle rock here. I want you to really focus on letting your spine elongate, creating space in that low back. Finally, from here, we're going to go into the last position I'm gonna show you. And this is really great to do at the end of a long day, especially if you sit a lot, you've worked out, or if you're on your feet a lot. This is called neutral spine position. So what we're gonna do again is find that center here. We're gonna engage the core, drawing the belly button back towards the spine. You can make your feet comfortable flat on the ground, put your palms out facing upwards and take some nice big deep breaths. So this one, you should feel your lower spine just relaxing into the ground. And this is a gentle passive stretch that really helps realign and rebalance the body. If you have the flexibility, you can also put your legs all the way straight down and you can feel that additional stretch here in the lower pelvis. You can hold these stretches for up to five to 15 minutes a day. And again, at the very end of the day, can be really helpful for improving your posture and decreasing low back pain. Again, all of these poses take practice and the more you do them, the more flexibility and range of motion that you'll gain. I hope that this little introduction was um, educational. And if you want more information, come and check out the services that we have here at St. Charles. Thanks.